So this is going to be part two in the series of finding the best workout clothes for the more mature woman. I'm talking women over 40, 50, 60 and beyond. So midlife and mid-size women. And when I asked on social media where people were getting their workout clothes from, I got tons of suggestions and a lot of people were suggesting more high street stores. So today we're going to be looking at Next, which is a high street store in the UK and looking specifically their own brand, Active Workers. Now I live in France and they do deliver to Europe. However, we do pay a higher price because they don't don't charge extra for import charges, but then that is added on to the price of the item. So the purpose of my UK view is I'm going to put the prices up in both pounds and euros as what I paid for them. I think it's also important to touch on size range as the next active wear comes from an XS to a double XL which isn't massively size inclusive. There are active wear brands that are more size inclusive than these. So just keeping that sizing range in mind, I have gone for quite basic colors because I am someone who practically lives in their active wear. I want it to be adaptable. I want it to be able to be able to just chuck this shirt over the top of my leggings and go and do the school run or nip out to the supermarket. We got some clothes to get through, so let's get started. Okay, starting with our first one. This is the white active short sleeve v-neck. Now, this actually isn't something that I would actually normally go for. I know some older, shall we say, like a v-neck. I personally don't. I do think it makes me tend to look a little bit dated and older than I want to look. Now, this is super, super thin. That is going to be pretty see-through, but light colours are not usually my thing, and that is in a size large. And I'm not sure what the sizing is going to be like, but then sometimes, you know, when you think, oh my god, that looks massive, and then you put it on and it fits absolutely fine. It could be one of those. The reviews on this were pretty good, that it said that it holds shape pretty well and feels really lightweight to wear. And we're going to team that up with these zebra leggings. Now these are plain black but I do love a legging with a little bit of pattern on it. It's quite nice to have something with a little bit of design in there. I did think these were quite pricey though. These came in at 43 euros but then on the UK site they are only 34 which always sounds and feels more acceptable. I got these in a size 12 and these look tiny. That's quite a small waist and they have this embossed leopard print design on them they feel quite thick and they don't, don't look too see-through when I put my hand through them because that's one thing we've got to have is squat proof leggings so let's try those out okay so I actually like the fit and the neckline off the top more than I thought I would. I do think when I put my arms out, I do think it's a little bit big. I would probably size down. So that this is a large. I'm usually a UK size 14, but I do find neck sizes are always confusing. Necks, Marks and Spencers, I find that sometimes that little bit bigger. Um, but I do like the oversizedness. I don't love that it is like see-through. Obviously, I could wear a different colored bra. However, most of my spa spares are black. Most of my leggings are black. So I don't like this section. I think I would have preferred it in the black. It does go a little bit long at the back. I don't hate it. I kind of like how light it is. I think this would feel really nice to work out with, light and free. If you're especially hot like me, I tend to get really hot during workouts. So I don't hate the top. I'm just not overly keen on the color with it being so see-through and probably would need to size down. The leggings, I was really surprised with these because I thought they were going to be way too small. Uh, these were 12 and they actually fit quite nice. They go on pretty nice. They feel comfortable around my waistline. I am that little bit chunky around the midsection. I like how they look possibly a little bit long in the leg. I'm usually around a 32 leg, so these are coming all the way down to the floor. I prefer personally like a 7 8 length but that is just my own personal preference I like the way they feel I think they look really nice with the design I think potentially 
I really like the look at them. I must say I did look on the website and the reviews on these were not great, saying that they came out of shape after a few washes. So I think they look nice on and I do love the, the zebra print design. And I think sizing wise, maybe being in this size down, being in a 12 rather than 14 would be best for me. I like the little design. Seam at the back is quite straight. I do like a little bit more like structure sometimes on the butt, especially if you tend to look a little bit more square, like I know I can sometimes. And they do have a mid seam also. Again, sometimes people not always a fan of a mid seam. I personally will usually wear a top that's a little bit longer, so I don't worry as much about having camel toe on show. The all important question though, are they squat proof? They look pretty good. Adding into that, I got a charcoal gray soft touch quarter zip. Now I wanted a really nice jumper. I like to have it. I usually prefer a zip jumper just because when I'm teaching, I might want to start with my jumper on and then I whip it off. And if I've got to take it over my head, it's going to destroy my hair. So I did like the look of this quarter zip. Ooh, feels nice. That feels really nice. And I presume this is kind of like inspired by the Lululemon scuba. Oh, I really love this. This is super, super soft, but it is more of a, a technical. So it's super soft but thin, fairly thin material, very stretchy. So it's not like a jersey material. It's got that active branding on the back. This did only come, I think, in a gray and a black. I would just love it to see this in more color options. It's almost like that quick drying wicking material. It's on the inside, almost like a shiny material. That feels amazing. I've got to say, I am absolutely in love with the feel of this. It is so comfortable, so nice, so stretchy. I think it actually looks really nice on. Again, I know I like things oversized, but I don't know whether maybe I could have side down. I could have maybe sit on my hips a little bit to ruche a little bit. But because of the material, I feel like it would just kind of slide down anyway. So maybe I needed to size down on this and gone for the medium. But then would it be the oversized look that I really kind of like? But all in all, I do really like this. I'm just not over sure on the sizing. I think I would wear this a lot. And I would also, I could see me wearing so if it came like in a bright pink coral color. If anything's pink or green, you got me. I would love this in some alternative colors. I like how it zips up. It would be really easy to take on and off. Oh, I'm really undecided on this. Do I like the sizing? Do I like the oversizedness? Tell me, let me know. I just think I would wear this quite a lot. It's so comfortable. Not, maybe not that great for winter though, but you could definitely work out in this. I love the high neck. It just feels really super. I think I'm just obsessed with the feel of it. Do we keep it or do we not? Or is it just basic? It just feels so good. I love it. Trying on with also with the black leggings. This is kind of like the same as the white top, but this is the long sleeve version. I think this would be great if you were doing something like yoga or Pilates. I probably would wear this as a base layer for out snowboarding, to be quite honest. So it's that same material. Again, this looks fairly big. They got this in a large and it comes in at 20 pounds or 26 euro, which is the same material as the white. It's the same size as the white, but it doesn't look as big. And this is one thing that I hate about brands. There's just such inconsistency in sizes like this for me, I, th I think is a great size. Whereas the white felt way too big. Maybe it's the style, maybe it's the design. I like the finger holes in. This is perfect for when you're warming up, especially in the winter months, and if you don't want a full jacket on. So again, I really like this. I think nice colors. It's just a very easy wearing. I could wear this underneath a shirt for everyday wear. I could even wear this as a base layer for going out snowboarding. I do really like this. Very versatile piece. 
it's basics it's basics it is i know that doesn't seem to go quite as long as the white one did maybe it did i don't know is it the same length i can't decide maybe it's just because it's long sleeves and it feels like it should be this length these are the leopard print active yoga leggings and actually my friend wears these so i know how good they look yeah they're gonna be <laughs> probably too big i had to get them i just wanted to feel the quality of them and they do feel super soft they're actually thicker than i was expecting them to be and they've got like a black layering on the inside which i'm guessing is going to help with the see-throughness i can kind of just about see through that when i stretch it out i did have to get them in an xl because it was the only size that was left and i just wanted to see them so these again i would wear these with this pink shirt i would wear them out and about i love that transition from going from active wear to everyday wear so these were a bit of me so i will keep my eye out in the hope that they will be restocked so, so i would just say on the seam on just on there doesn't look that well finished it looks like the material's just been cut not in a straight line these came in though at 31 euros and they will be 24 pounds so they're an amazing price point super full and for the price of them i actually think they feel like quite good quality i did just see that there's a little like card pocket in the side keeping in with the animal theme i thought we could team that up with a khaki tank top now this is like my preferred style of tank is that higher neck some people i know don't like it below the waistline in fact some lovely lady commented on one of my videos and told me that maybe i should wear long sleeve because it would be more attractive so i do really like like this deep almost where you can see your sports bra underneath this is more of a cotton feel this one comes in at 18 pounds or 23 euros this does have more of a cotton feel for it so i don't know how well it'll wash and it is it's 100 percent cotton which you don't often get with workout clothes so not as much stretch in it i would imagine this is going to show the sweat patches again this looks really quite big for a large i thought it might team up nice with those leopard print pants and i did really like the look of that but i'm not sure how well it would wear if you were doing something high activity and sweat wicking it feels like that might be better for something like yoga or pilates <laughs> okay i knew these were going to be big i didn't realize they were going to be this big though so these are an xl <laughs> they're so baggy <laughs> i've got this like <laughs> pouch going on here they are huge like i could have probably gone to a medium in these like i don't know is that even two sizes that's like three sizes would i have gone in a small anyway i think it's safe to say these are going back i would have loved them can, can we see can we see the vision i'm gonna try and tighten them in oh i don't know even this top's huge as well i just think the sizing is so inconsistent this feels massive again i suppose it's that oversized sizing but this just looks huge on me and though it is nice that it's cotton i don't think i would be wanting to work out in this i think it would be clingy it doesn't feel super stretchy and nice i don't know I'm just not loving this one now i've got a couple more tops i was going to keep these leggings on but i think we're going to revert back to the others just for <laughs> not looking <laughs> too ridiculous i can't even squat test these because they're not even going to be tight enough let's just see let me see through anything think so i think they are squat proof and they do feel really nice i'm just so gutted they didn't have my size in these i am going to out on the website in the hope that they might restock keeping but on with the khaki theme that looks really nice actually this is more of a, a running top it's got the thumb holes quarter zip this comes in at 25 pounds or 32 euros and this feels nice super soft a bit of stretch in it it's got a little bit of a split down which i do find sometimes can help give a nicer shape again we've got this active logo in okay this is the zip running top i do really like this again it feels super soft 
I'm always worried about this type of top that it's going to be like clingy around the waist where you get this kind of like roll going on. In the large is quite a nice fit. This one doesn't feel too oversized, too massive. Nice little slit here. So if you've got the thumb holes, if you want to place them over your hands. Again, a little stitching detail. Unzip as you get too hot and open up. This feels nice, I like this. I'm kind of torn, I do need a long sleeve top because when I'm like teaching classes, I'll do a little bit and then I'll be stood around, especially in the winter. So I did want a longer sleeve top, so I'm a little bit torn. This is definitely gonna keep me warmer than I think the pink one would. But I did really like the pink one. I don't know. Coming in with another tank. This again is the same material as the pink and the white. Is that little bit see-through? And I do like it in the black though. It's got a little bit of um, a pleat at the back to help with the way that the garment falls. Higher neck. This is more my preferred style top. Looks kind of nice and lightweight. Nice bit of stretch in it. I'm sure this is quite hard to see in this light, but it's the same as the white one at the beginning where it's just so oversized that it feels a little bit too big i think i would need to size down in this i do like the feel of this i would definitely get this in a size down i think i think it's super lightweight would be great for more of those heavier harder sweatier workouts it is quite long line so for people that like to have their book covered you again because it's got the split in the side here that you could tuck half of it in and then have the rest hanging out i would sometimes do that especially when i'm demonstrating moves and i don't want my top flying up above my head exposing all of my belly i do actually really like this the question is do we size down or do we keep this is definitely my kind of style i like a tank top i think it's quite nice neckline high enough round here so that you're not exposing any of the side boob and this is just super cheap this is what i like to see a good base price tank that isn't ridiculously priced it will be interesting to see how well they wash and hold their shape but i do really like this is it too big though is the problem and we then the last top that i got was the same kind of style again it's in this kind of see-through lightweight material i just don't know how long this is going to last it is very thin how well it's going to wash i would like to have seen some reviews this particularly feels like very flimsy like that's not going to last that well and again the large is just generally looking quite large but we'll see when we try this on this is once again a large but this is coming in like a dress so i do like how what what light weight it is i do not like the length on this is way too long we could tuck it in but i don't think i want to tuck my gym wear in i just want it to sit here just here about this length this length don't want it be cropped up i don't want it down to my knees i just want it about here midway my butt just lower part of my butt which is a shame i think i probably would have kept that because it's just a nice basic lightweight but it's just way too long it's a no coming in to recap on the next active wear i did actually really like it however the sizing was just completely off and i think this is because i'm used to shopping at places like zara and h&m and i am a definite like large slash extra large in those stores so I've not bought anything from Next for some time, so I did find that the sizes were a lot bigger. So just keep that in mind, but it does kind of add into like the size inclusivity is that there are something for larger sizes as well as right down to an excess. I really like the range and styles of things that they had in. However, I did find that a lot of it was out of stock, hence me having to get things that were ridiculously big. And so that's something to keep in mind when you're shopping. And obviously when you go into store, there are probably going to be more available to you. So if you can, if you're in the UK, get into the store, try these things on before you buy. The quality seems okay. So when I'm looking at in terms of the quality for the price, I, th I think they're at a really good price point and the quality seems to reflect that. There were some slight stitching errors that I could see where the lines weren't exactly straight. So very small minor things that I'm picking out. So in terms of price point, I think they're great. I think they're affordable items 
items with really nice designs and definitely a store that I will look at purchasing from again. When it comes to durability, I can't really comment on this because I am returning all of these items apart from the pink long sleeves. I did decide to keep that. So I will keep updated down on the blog how that fares in terms of durability, how it washes, how it, if there's any misshaping, any bobbling, things like that. I will keep it updated as I, my goal here is really to create a whole directory of the best workout clothes for women. So I'm going to keep everything updated over on the blog. So I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was useful. If you want to check out my other videos on workout clothes reviews, then check out the following playlist.